We're making three different dishes. The winner gets $10,000, but this cook-off has a huge twist, so let's go. You challenge us to make a pizza, but here's the twist. We're not allowed to use a rolling pin, a pan, a knife, or a can opener, so let's go. I've got a whole bunch of dough here because I'm making a Chicago deep dish pizza, nice. man. I have to cook my eggs, but I can't use a hot plate or a pan, so I'm using dry ice. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's gonna freeze an egg. There's no way it's gonna cook the egg, though. I guess we'll find out. Three, two, one. Oh! Whoa, dude, it's whoa, sizzling, bro. Whoa. As you do that, I'm gonna create my Chicago deep dish, but the issue is I'm not allowed to use a pan, so it's gonna have to kind of mold it with my hands work. here like this. This is pretty cool, man. Look at it right there, man. Just kind of like... <laughs> oh, dude, I'm gonna try to cook the egg in this thing here. Yo, that it's like is bubbling so up. so cool. I gotta say, that's probably the coolest way I've ever seen eggs cooked, man. This reminds me of a stress ball. The deep dish crust is done. Next time, I gotta make some rotisserie chicken right now. It totally oh. worked. Look at this. Wait, pick it up. Is it stuck on there, though? It's a little stuck. Oh, what? my God. Gosh. Dude, it looks like a saucer. And because I'm not allowed to use a knife to slice up the chicken, I brought along some Wolverine claws out of my Whoa. private collection. So wait a second. Yep. One, three, two, one. one. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. And do not try this at home. Yeah, do not try this at do home. Not. Here we go. Let's see. Whoa. This I didn't Whoa. know I needed right, so chicken, yes. but now I do. All right, here we go. I man. have a lot of chicken. Oh my gosh. Kind of blacked out there for a second. What that just happened? That was crazy. You got chicken in your hair. Now look to the side. Right. And since I can't use a hot pan or a grill or anything, I gotta use two irons. That's Wait, right. What? I'm cooking the hot dogs just like this. Oh my, oh, jeez. That is actually really cool, totally man. This is totally working. You lost a dog. Next up, time to slice up an onion. <laughs> All right, my hot dogs are cooked. All right, well, you know what? I think it's time to retire the Wolverine claws. And man, I gotta oh. say, these things were a ton of fun. <laughs> Cook my steak, I have a brand new way of doing this. We are using gallium, or should Wait, I say liquid metal, and I've heated it up where the gallium is now molten. It's extremely hot, and we're gonna be pouring it on here to see if it sears it and cooks it. You're not gonna eat that, right? No, you cannot eat it once the gallium has touched it. So we're just doing this to see if it'll actually work. Do not try this at home. Put some safety goggles on. I've got yep. a cutting board right here. We are taking this very oh, seriously. Get out of the way, oh, man. Three, two, one. Into that, bro. Oh my gosh. Great Yo, job. I can smell it sizzling. It's literally molten metal right now, guys, on the dude. inside of this thing. Look at the metal, like still liquid and everything. Wow. Dude. This is definitely gonna win me the $10,000. All right, next up, I gotta roll out my dough, but unfortunately, I can't use a rolling pin, so I gotta use these things. Hold on, why do you have blue dough? Dude, this thing is very difficult. What is going on? All right, well, here we go. We're just gonna lather some of this cheese on just like this. What are you doing? I'm trying to roll this thing out. Here we go. I've now lathered up my cheese. It's time to shave it. So let's see here. Here we go. It's gonna shave it like this. This is actually working. Out. Oh, look at that, man. Cheese shavings out the wazoo, bro. I'm putting the hot dog in the crust, and now I'm attaching it to the crust. You're encrusting a hot dog. Yes. All right, my crust is done, and now it's time to cut up some pepperoni. What are you doing? I'm bricking in my cheese, man. You're, I can't. What? Yeah, I can't figure That's out another not way to a cut turf. it. That absolutely is, man. This is like really crazy. I hope you sanitize that brick, Todd. I did, man. I always clean my bricks before I use them in my cooking. All right, cooking. time to cut up this pepperoni. Wait, how are you going to, again, see, how are you going to cut that up without a knife? Oh. You're probably going to need to use a brick. Oh, no, no, no. Uh huh. I got the best way. All right, Collins, I got the saw. Wait, yo, what? You brought a full saw you used to chop down a yes. tree. This does not belong in a kitchen, Devin. There you go. Do not try this at home. Three, two, one. Oh! oh. Yes! Yo! $10,000, here I come. Time to get rid of the saw. I think I did what I needed to do. Wait, wait, wait. Put one up on my cheese, though. Okay, fine. You know what? Back to the brick, bro. Back to the brick. It's almost time to assemble our pizzas, but first, I need the most important ingredient, tomato sauce. Yeah, well, you do that, I'm going to make some squiggly potatoes. So I have some squiggly scissors here. Oh, okay. It broke my squiggly scissors. Oh, squiggly yes, cut. yes, oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. It's opening. I need something to put it in. Oh, yes. What? Squiggly potato number one. It's such a little amount of tomato sauce for the amount you're having to squeeze that thing, dude. I know. In the finishing touch, I grabbed my mom's hair crimper like this, and now we're going to put this thing inside like this, and then we're gonna cook the potato just like what? this. Here we go. All right, I've got all the sauce I need, and now it's time to assemble our pizzas. This looks like ketchup, right? Dude, that's like half of my sauce. Oh, man, double dip. What are you doing? All right, well, now let's assemble the pizza. We've got all the pizza ingredients, and now it's time to assemble it, so I'm gonna kick it off right here with a whole bunch of tomato sauce, Same, man. dude. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, splatter! Whoa! Oh, man. Dude, this like splattered Whoa! it, man. I lost concentration My for a second. My pizza was so great. But it got on me, bro. Next up, we got some of this cheese. So here we go. We're just going to splat down the cheese like this. Oh, yeah, Whoa. man. First layer is all done. Time for the second layer. All right, next up, I'm laying down a base of cheddar cheese. And I'm putting in a whole bunch of chicken and onion for this layer. All right, here we go, man. Just going to keep pulling it in, pulling it in. Uh-oh. I hope it tastes good because uh, yeah, it doesn't look so great. This is food, Devin. It's not about how it looks. It's about how it tastes. 
All right, time to put the finishing touches on these things and find out who wins the $10,000. We got the completed pizzas, and I have never seen a pizza that looks like that before. Here's a big reveal. You ready? Three, two, one, ta-da! Bro, yep. and when I slice Whoa. this thing open, man, it's going to be incredible on the inside. You get to comment down below and vote whose pizza do you think is going to taste better. We'll be trying them, as well as choosing the $10,000 winner at the end of the video. You challenged us to make a taco, but we're not allowed to use a tortilla press, a knife, or a griddle, so let's go. Because I'm not allowed to use a griddle, I'm kicking off by turning my watermelon into a functioning grill right now. Wow, yeah, Wait, and what are since you doing? I can't make a normal tortilla, I'm making a rice tortilla. Oh! oh okay, here we go, just go. Oh, 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 it's in my face. All right, here we go, yeah. Well, I'm gonna continue over here. I am drenched off the bat. Instead of making normal white rice, I'm making purple rice. That is brand new, bro. I've never seen a purple rice taco before. That seems like it'd be a lot more convenient, man. I'm really excited to see if it works. I'm confused. Oh, Three, is this because you can't use a one. knife? Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm using a sword right now. Okay. <clears throat> I hear it going. Oh, oh snap, dude. dude. No knife, nice. but a perfect slice off Good the top. Job. Come at me, bro. Nice. Give me a high five. Yeah. The rice is cooked and it's cooled, and now it's time to make the patty. Hey, this careful. is called juicing from the careful. bottom. I'm just Oh, man. I regret nothing. All right, well, Just, now uh, I'm taking out my rice from the top, and I'm going to lay it down on this very hot skillet thing. Wait, why? Because this is going to cook the patty, dude. It's you like sizzling, cook it. bro. You're like crisp with rice, though, man. Exactly. Ah, what? It ran into my armpit. Final step is to make the grilling top here on the melon. So we're bringing it back oh, to the drill, baby. It totally worked. Oh, my dude, that's super crispy. Wait, dude, what are you grilling on your watermelon? I'm going to be grilling a whole bunch of meat for my taco. I think my purple rice is finally ready to be formed into the perfect tortilla shape. Time to finish up the watermelon. Melon grill, this thing is coming along amazing. My purple rice taco shell is done. Now it's time to slice up my pepper. Wait, so how are you gonna slice that without a knife? Oh, oh liquid nitrogen. Dude, this is so I cool. Know, oh right? my gosh, you would not try this at home. We have a trained professional here. It's time to dunk in my pepper. Oh and this my is gosh. Food grade liquid nitrogen so you can actually eat whatever you put in it. Three, two, oh wait, wait. three second like challenge. We wanna see if you can like this video in three seconds. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Done. Three, two, one. Oh! oh. It's like oh, bubbling oh, up. It's bubbling oh, up. Wait, I wait, wait, you're getting I gotta, in the way. I gotta, I gotta I use the pineapple to protect myself. Dude, this is definitely gonna win me the $10,000. And the steam is like all by my legs right now. It's so cold. This is oh insane. My. It's like a hot bath, except it's Whoa. freezing cold. Look at that. It's working. Dude, this is the most amount of liquid nitrogen we've ever had before. I kind of want to freeze my pineapple now. Can I freeze a pineapple? No, 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 no. Uh, this is for me. I, want, I just want to freeze a pineapple. This is for me. You can actually knock on it right now. I have never heard a pepper that sounds like this before, man. This I is haven't either. So cool. Cool. Whoa, oh my it's gosh! To crack. All right, it's ready to oh go. Oh my gosh, dude, that thing it down. It looks like it's been sucking cryo sleep for years, man. Dude, it's like coming this... out right now. Again, right. do not try this at home. Yes. You ready? Three, two, two one. Oh, oh my no gosh! And this is all I need. That's perfect. That sounded like a piece of glass, dude. That is the best alternative to a knife I have ever seen. Holy this cow. Is insane. All right, my first ingredient, my salsa is done. Next ingredient is this mango and a drill. Wait, you're, wait, you're gonna put a drill in a taco. No, 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 I'm, I'm drilling the mango. Why are you drilling the mango, bro? So I gotta drill the mango to get the mango out to put it into my salsa. Now I hit reverse and we reverse out of there and look at that. A little bit of mango at a time. I mean, you can't tell this is my not impressed face. Dude, I'm working without a knife. I'm not impressed. Have you ever tried to make salsa, which is a bunch of diced up fruits and vegetables without a knife. We're not impressed. Next, I'm gonna pick up some piece of pork right here. All right, let's drop them in. So here we go, splash. And now I'm cracking these crab legs. I put a whole bunch of hot coals inside the watermelon grill, so hopefully this is gonna work. And do not try this oh. at home, bro. This looks so good. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, dude, what? listen to this sizzle, bro. Dude. I didn't think this would work, man. Dude. A watermelon grill? Well, what might not actually work is cracking these with some bolt cutters. Wait, bolt cutters? An employee at Target told me it was a life hack. All right, that's enough piece of pork for right now. Perfect. So now I'm gonna let those cook oh, and roast. It fits. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, it actually Dude. works, man. Here, how about this, Here bro? I'll help you out a little bit, Devin. You don't need any help, I guess. Okay. No help needed. Oh, snap, dude. Mine are cooking so perfectly, bro. Look at this. Oh, it's starting to come along. Yes, look at that. All right, here we go. Got to press my tortilla. Got a tortilla Wait, pressing what? contraption. Dude, that is way too elaborate. You can never get too elaborate when trying to press a tortilla. First, I'm going to put the two pieces of glass together like this. What are you doing? You got a frog, man. I got a frog. You're supposed to make music with that. You're going to separate the two just like this and then plop it down. Oop. Yep, 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 yeah! We have a little pump here. So this pump is gonna be integral to the plan. This does not come out, dude. Oh my gosh, are you seeing this? Whoa! Look at this! Dude. Why is it not perfectly circular, though? That is amazing! I'm a little concerned. Nice. All right, man, there is my taco show. That is the most impressive way I have ever seen a tortilla made. To cook my tortilla, since we're not allowed to use a grill, I made a hot rock fix. I stuck wow. it in the oven, got it super hot. Do not try this at home, so let's see if this is actually able to cook my tortilla. Three, two, one. Oh! 
Oh, I'm oh gonna no. Pam the Rock. Gotta Pam the Rock. Hold up. There right, we, we go. go. Okay, go. Go. Three, yep. Two, three, two, one. one. Teamwork, man. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's gotten crispy. To cook my tuna, I'm actually using beeswax. Wait, beeswax? You can yes. cook something with beeswax? I guess we'll find out. Three, two, two one. Are you pointing directly on the fish? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yo, it hardens Whoa. instantly. Keep going, keep going. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. All right, the wax is all hardened, and now it's time to break out my fish. Oh, hey. Wait a minute. It looks like congealed bologna with some weird stuff in the middle, man. This doesn't look so good. I gotta break it yeah, open. How are you somehow. gonna do this? Okay. I don't know. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, yes. it breaks away so easily. It's working out perfectly. Just, you gotta be careful. You can wax on my hot rock, bro. You have to be gentle with your fish, man. Look at it. It cooked all the way through. There's a final stretch right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Whoa. Yo. That is amazing. I did not think that would work at all. We got our tacos, and now it's time to assemble them. But first, we gotta add some seasoning yes. to it. So check this out, though. Here we go. Yo! Oh. Touch sabers. Okay, okay. okay. Oh! Whoa. Let's all let's deactivate them. There okay. we go. Yep. Seasoning time. See if you hold it down. What? I gotta go with the wasabi next. You make like a sushi taco. Oh my gosh, dude. I still can't believe that the watermelon was able to fully cook the meat. Next up, I'm adding this ahi tuna. Oh, there we man. go. It's very wow. nice and pink on the inside. I know. Though. All right, just gonna add this on top. And wax cooked fish, man. How is that gonna taste? All Look right. At this, though. All right, now it's time to put the finishing touches on these and find out who wins. We got the finished tacos. And you added a whole new element, man. Competition is tough. We're going for $10,000 yeah. now. So Here's a big reveal. Three, two, oh, oh yeah, five second subscribe challenge. We want to see if you can subscribe to this channel and turn on the channel post notifications in five seconds. You ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, done. If you can do that, comment down below, Keeper Squad, right now, and let's see how these look. Three, two, one, done. Oh, oh my gosh, I made a little extra thingy and everything. You can Man. comment down below whose taco do you think is gonna taste better. We'll be trying them and choosing the $10,000 winner at the end of the video. You challenge us to make a burger, but we are not allowed to use a knife, a hot plate, or a pan, so let's go. To kick mine off, I gotta crack some eggs. And I gotta slice up some tomatoes. Three, two, two one. Oh! What are I'm you making? making the breading for my chicken. Next step is for me to slice up this beef, but I can't use a knife, so I've got the next best thing. A paper shredder. That makes it, wait, that yeah, makes no makes sense. It, That's the office really? paper shredder, Devin. Wait, okay, I don't even think it's gonna be able to grind up that meat, to be honest, bro. Next up, I gotta melt the cheese. So I grab my mom's wax melter over here. It's gonna place <laughs> the cheese in. And I'm sorry, mom, from now on, whenever you melt wax, it's gonna smell like a little bit of cheese. Alright, my beef is tenderized and cons. What? Time for you to hold the shredder. This is raw Whoa. meat. Do not touch raw meat and yes. do not try this at home. Ready, Three, set, go. Oh! oh snap. It worked. It does sound kind uh, of broken though. It's stuck. I want it back. I Wait, want my meat back. You, you I can't want get it. Out. My cheese oh. Look, it's starting to overflow on the top. Oh. I gotta say, man, I did not think that this would work, bro. But I'm actually shocked. I'm this actually over here. kind of surprised this worked too. If this was featured in an infomercial, it would be the next billion-dollar product for sure. You ever find yourself at 3 p.m., thousands of feet above the earth, in a Goodyear blimp with nothing but raw meat and a paper shredder? No. But if you did, what would you want to do with it, Devin? You got Beef raw meat. No, that's not. That's not yet. You got raw meat. Beef faster. Devin, you got Sorry. raw meat and a paper yes. shredder. Beef faster. Two thousand. There we go. Yeah. All right. Order today by calling my personal. Cell phone number 555. Five, oh, you can't four. give that. We're on air. Got my garlic minced up. I think I'm gonna make some aioli and I'm gonna use this mustard next. As you make your aioli, bro, I'm gonna be filling my patties with cheese. All right, here we go. So let's see if I can suck up some of this cheese. Three, two, one. Oh, oh it's working. It's nice, working. Okay. Nice. You gotta overpower this garlic with all the other ingredients. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go on the side like this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Just gonna what inject the cheese right. Oh, oh. It's stripping out the side. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Time to mix my stuff up. Next up, gotta cook my shrimp. We don't have a hot plate though. How are you gonna cook that thing, I'm dude? I'm gonna use an electric fly swatter. What if like Combust the shrimp. Well, I guess it's an electric fly swatter, bro. If you touch it, it might just go boof. Oh, oh! That was definitely a piece of shrimp. All right, here we go. Three. Oh, my gosh. Two, oh, boy. One. No! Oh, oh, my geez. gosh. Oh! I did not think that would work, bro. I didn't either. Next up, I gotta chop my onions, but since I have no knife, I'm gonna use a figure skate. Oh, what? How are you gonna slice it? It doesn't seem that sharp, Three, man. Three, two, one. Yo! Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. And you do that, here we go. I'm gonna pop my potato <laughs> on the top here like this. Got my eyes. You shoot onion juice in your <laughs> eye, man. <laughs> are you all right? Stop with this. I'm just gonna borrow okay. your skate oh. real quick. This is a much better method, right, so here we sure, go. Just sure. gonna slice up like this. Give us a second. We gotta finish this up real quick. Dude, this no knife thing is so tough. I'm gonna have to use pencil sharpeners to cut my onion. I'm having an issue with no hot plate, but I think I've got a great solution. A curling iron to cook my bacon. And remember, do not try this at home. Oh, you hear the sizzle? What? This works. Oh my gosh. He's gonna take it off and he's gonna place it down here. You ready? Three, two, two one. one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh. oh, 
Oh, let me curl up a few more of those, and then it's time to assemble the burger. Time to dredge my chicken. Dredge so it? I'm just gonna dip it in here first. That's called like dredging? This, and then okay. go right into here. Wait, oh my uh -huh. gosh. What do you mean, oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. I don't know, man, it's kind of questionable. All right, this is my last piece of chicken. I've got my cheese-filled burger patties, and now it's time to cook these in a very unique way. You ready, Devin? I'm so ready. I'm sure this is gonna blow your mind, so right now, let's uh, let's hop outside. And we have a Lamborghini here, which yep. is lent to us by our friend Chris. We're gonna be cooking the meat in two different ways. Number one is on the engine, and number two is on the tailpipe. Here we go. Three, oh, man. Two, one. Two! Oh, oh my one. gosh! Got the burger meat, and now it's time to see if we'll actually cook. Do not try this at home. So here we go. Let me get them in position. Three, two, two one. Oh, oh snap! Oh, oh my gosh! Dude, it is so hot right now. I can feel the heat coming off. All right, that's enough right now for the burger seven. So next up, we're gonna see if the tailpipe can cook your chicken. All right, three, two, one. Dude, what? Oh my god, that's insane. Done, all right. All right. My chicken's looking super crispy, dude. And the burgers are almost done, so we're just gonna be cooking them a little bit more, and they'll be adding these to our burgers. Now, surprisingly, this didn't work, so we actually had to put it in the oven. It's now time to assemble the burgers. So I gotta say, off the bat, bro, my bun what? turned out so good. Mine looks so boring in comparison. It truly is. I really hope these unconventional cooking techniques work, because I want to win the $10,000 so bad, dude, man. Dude, For my burger patty, yeah. remember, this thing is filled with cheese. Yo, all dude, right. yours actually turned out really good. Next up, we're gonna get some, some pickles on there, because you gotta get some salty crispy be crunchiness on it. And then of course we have got the other uh, spirally bacon. Time to put the finishing touches on our burger and I'm really excited to see whose looks better, but more importantly, whose tastes better. So right now let's all let's finish these things up. We've got the burgers and I say mine is definitely worth the $10,000, man. man. I think mine is. So here's the big reveal. Three, two, one, ta-da! You get to comment down below whose burger do you think is gonna taste better. We'll be tasting them and choosing the $10,000 winner at the end of the video. It's time to find out which pizza tastes better. We have two very different pizzas. Mine's got a whole bunch of layers to it. Yep. It's extremely heavy. Yeah, Dude, that, feel that it. it's looks like really heavy. Oh okay. my gosh, it's like 20 pounds, bro. That's not that, yeah, that, that's really heavy. Are you kidding me, bro? That's extremely heavy. And you it got really a blue is. pizza, so it's gonna be really interesting to see which one tastes better. Devin, which pizza should we taste first? Let's taste yours, dude. I really wanna see what's on the inside of that. Here we go, okay. do not try this at home. Yeah. Here we go, time to slice it open. Three, two, one. Not too quick, not yep. too quick. Okay, here we go, okay. No, no, open okay. it, yep. open here it, here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh! So good! Dude, you can see the layers, what? man. It's perfect! Dude! All right, here you go, Devin. Here is your piece. Uh, uh, thank you. That's your piece I, right I there. No, I wanted such a big it's piece. It's a two-slice pizza, guys. Wow. It's kind of a Chicago deep dish tradition. Wait, so seriously, that's all you're gonna do? Just a forkful? Yes. What are you doing here? I got, I'm just trying to turn around so I can get a bite of it. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Ah! Three, three, two, two one. Mm. Whoa! Mm. Whoa! Mm. That is super good! Oh my god! Two thumbs up with all the barbecue sauce! Mm. Dude, I did not want to like that, but that was so good! Nicely done! Thank you. It's like a Smurf pizza, man! What do you mean, dude? You're breaking oh. the middle! Oh, oh my oh, gosh, Devin, oh, come oh. on, a clean slice! I got it! I got mine perfectly clean, Devin! This yep. You're being judged on this, this man! This is a little bit more difficult than I expected! A dry ice egg, man! You put an egg on a pizza once before, which I questioned, but it actually tasted really good, but a dry ice egg? That's, it looks uh, like it turned out, though, didn't it? It has a weird like texture and quality to it. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's not quite the most appetizing looking. I don't know if you're looking at the same thing I'm looking oh, at. Oh, I definitely am, man. Here's the first slice, Collins. You can have the honors. Oh, there see? There you go. You missed the egg. Your blue crust is, um, is what? Fantastic, S amazing, like the ocean. Reminds you of everything good in the world. Suspicious. There you go, Collins. Yeah, be very here careful here. Your, yep, there you go. Time for my slice. Wait, why do you get a bigger slice than I do, man? I did? Hey, hey, if you look at the exact... Okay, they're the I same. I tried to they're make it pretty equal. They're the same, they're the same. Okay, I'll take I it did back. did a good job on this. Three, two, two one. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It's so Whoa. bad, it makes you want to do Kung Fu! Wow! <laughs> this is a weird combo, man. I don't know what was! That it's was like weird. Some really good elements, like the pepperoni, the yeah. cheese. I gotta uh. say, man, the crust, the blue crust. Yeah. No! You get to comment down below and vote whose pizza do you think won this round. We'll be announcing the $10,000 winner at the end of the video. We've got the completed burgers, and now it's time to find out which one is worthy of the $10,000 prize. How about we start with yours first? I'm super ready. What really makes these burgers interesting is that they were cooked using a Lamborghini, so it I might know. change the whole taste of them. The chicken was right by the tailpipes, man. Yes. It's just taking a whole bunch of heat from the car. All right, I think I'm gonna cut it in half first. With a fork and... I've never seen someone just cut a burger just... 
All right, here we go. Going down the center. And dude, the Ooh. shrimp. I forgot what the electric fly swatter, man. Just zapping it. I don't know if it cooked it or not, man. Yeah. Oh, there oh. goes a the shrimp. You this lost one. This is a one. tough one, man. All right, here we go. All I'm right. trying to sink yep. my slice. Yep. Ready? Wait, okay, what are you doing? What are you go. pushing it into three, mine for? Two. Hold up. What are you three, two, one -ing? I'm revealing your burger. Oh. You have a lot of full onions in here, man. Yeah, it was more for aesthetics. Oh my gosh, it's all sliding apart, Devin. All I right. gotta say, in terms of construction, this burger gets a B minus. Can I order this burger without onions? Can I just take the onions off, please? I'm the chef, and I think you should eat it the way the chef prepared. Here we go. I'm, I'm not taking off the onions. It just fell off. Uh-huh. Really? On yeah. purpose. Oh, wait. Oh, I lost the bottom bun. Hold on, Devin. It's really, falling. You're it's so much drama, man. Just eat it. Three, two, one. Once you get all the flavors, it's mm. not so bad. It made me do a little, hmm. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I like that. Hmm. Got some cheese, you know? Hmm. Got some burger. Hmm. I gotta say, that was really good once you get past the initial onion, man. Yeah, that was it was actually, actually delicious. Really, really good. Here we go. Time to slice down from the top, man. All right. Do not try this at home. Oh, oh man. The cheese. One, three, two, two one. Oh, oh, look at the cheese. Whoa. Bro, it's all wet and slimy. I'm just doing my best to make a great burger, man. So right now, let's see how this cheese-filled Lamborghini grilled burger tastes. Three, two, two one. Ah. What? It's so dry. It's like a saltine cracker. The pickles taste really good. You get to comment down below and vote whose burger won this round. We'll be finding out who wins the $10,000 at the end of the video. We've got the completed tacos, and now it's time to find out which one is worthy of $10,000. Now, just remember, we grilled the meat on a watermelon, so it might change the oh, whole yeah. flavor of this thing. This thing's in a taco bowl that was made by a hot rock. Right. I don't know how we do this. Do we just? I've never eaten a taco bowl whole either. before. I, I'll grab my fork and knife. Oh, okay, yeah. You, know, you want to split it in half? Utensils. You did do a good job of cutting these things, man. Thank. We're cutting what? I'm cutting these. Oh they yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes. Thank you. My art on the side is definitely mwah. you're opening this thing up and not in the best way man it started off as a taco bowl and it's turned into a regular taco all right so i guess on the count of three we'll see how this thing tastes yeah. you ready three two, two one oh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. i didn't think the flavors blended mm -hmm. but they really do Mm. I think the watermelon actually really helped with the fruity flavor. Yours is gonna have a tall mountain to climb if it looks to beat this one here. And the pomegranate seeds like tied the whole dish together. Oh, yeah. So now, Devin, time to find out how yours tastes. Yeah. Mine's got a rice taco shell prepared in a coffee that's maker. That's not even the craziest thing, bro. You no. have fish that's been cooked in hot wax. I think this is gonna taste great. I don't know, man. Three, two, one. All right. Oh, that doesn't look good. Mm. I, I got, okay, I'm like, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. Uh, Automatic disqualification. Uh, trash. It just overpowered the whole thing. You get to comment down below whose taco won this round. Now it's time to find out who won the $10,000. There were three different dishes, and I gotta say, Devin, you definitely won the burger dish. Oh, yeah. That was all definitely. yours. But the taco dish, that was yes, mine right there. And what it all comes down to is the pizza dish. So mine, yeah. I gotta say, a lot of really unique flavors, but all in all, it had multiple different layers of yeah. all this goodness with yeah, it. Yeah, but presentation was super weak. Okay, yeah, so, I gotta say, know. the blue crust was definitely a nice taste touch on yeah, yours. Mine the egg looked in the, middle. the part. It Definitely. looked like $10,000. But ultimately, it comes down to taste, Devin. Yeah. And if we're judging based on taste, I think you know the answer. Unfortunately, I don't think mine was the greatest. Therefore, so I think you won. Yes! I won the $10,000, guys. You asked us to make cheap versus expensive foods. We're making three different dishes, and the winner gets this $10,000 Starbucks drink, so let's go. You challenge us to make a burger, and one set of ingredients are really cheap, and the other is super expensive. But we don't know which are which, so right now, let's make some burgers. I'm starting off by spraying 24 karat gold onto my buns. This is gonna make it so expensive. I'm slicing up my cabbage. Little spritz of gold just like oh, this, bro. This is oh. so expensive, no, man. That's, that's some fool's gold, dude. Next up, time to make some very expensive sriracha mayo, and the way that I know this is very expensive is because the chickens who lay the eggs are all decked out in Gucci. All right, well, ah. I'm making a vinaigrette sauce. Is this what I think it is? I hope not. We'll know by the smell. Oh, okay, got it. It's vinaigrette <laughs> or something like that. I spilled it all. Oh, all right, man. all right, all right. That does not look good. These are like $100 lemons. What? I bet you these lemons are more expensive than any other ingredient on this table right now. I have a full piece of whatever this is. You think those lemons are more expensive than this? High quality, extremely rare. I do. Stuff. And now it's time for me to make my hamburger. So boom, this oh, is a ham, oh, and it's time oh. to turn it into a burger. Have you ever seen oil like this before? Wait a second. This smells like that truffle stuff. Wait, let me smell it. Let me smell it. it 
must be must be truffle oil. By the way, cuz, I, I really don't think that's the hamburger meat. You know what? Mine's got two meats. That means it's double as expensive. Wait, so he's pouring oil in? Yep, adding it very slowly. All right, enough of that. Now it's time to make my patty. And it's time for me to slice up some meat here. Whoa. So here we go. Holy cow, this stuff is very resilient. Oh. It's like a carpet. Holy cow, this has got to be expensive stuff, man. I think you added way too much meat in it, wait to be a second, honest, bro. Wait a second, it's stuck. Yeah, I, I don't think you're doing it right, Devin. So here we go. Let's just, uh, just going to get some slices here like this. I think I am, dude. Look at This is going to be one meaty burger. <laughs> How are you yeah. going to cook it all the way through? It's going to be raw in the center, bro. It's so thick and ugh. I now got to slice up some jalapeno peppers, but these do not look spicy at all, man. What? Are you kidding? It's red. Dude, why would you take a bite of it? Yeah, it's, it's, are not, you spicy, dude, oh, it's not spicy, bro. It's not spicy at all. Oh, dude, do you see what's happening to yourself? Oh, dude, okay. look at you. It's Can spicy. you see yourself? Oh, oh, man, hot. it's really it's it's hot. Dude, you okay, it's so hot. red. It's hot. Oh. Devin? Oh, jeez. Why, why does all that stuff always happen to you, dude? Oh, I wonder what this stuff is. Woo, man, every time, bro, this onion really gets to me, bro. What is that? I don't know. It's mysterious. Oh! Dude, are you seeing this stuff? I can't see much of anything right now, Devin. It's all pretty blurry. I don't think adding carrots to this was a good idea. It looks kind of like beef in a weird way. <gasps> why am I so sensitive to onions? Next up, I'm adding a dash of olive oil. Three, yeah. two, oh, no, one, no, no, little no, no. saucer. Oh! Yeah. Well, next up, we're gonna go straight from the eggs into the batter. And now, I have to figure out how to use these things. The little rocks? All right, I think I'm just gonna dump it in like this. You ready? Oh! oh whoa! whoa! It's like a ghost. Time to pam it up. And time to season my meat stuff. So here we go, it's gonna season Ooh. over there. Yes. You gotta season your oh. grill first, I Evan. You gotta make sure I'll you get a whole bunch of seasoning, I'll bro. I'll season it later. Oh, oh man! Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, it smells like burning pepper. What did you do? Woo, wait, oh, sorry. Oh, don't boy. waft it towards me. All right, next up, here we go. We got to go for the meat. I got to form the patty, Devin. It's really just all in the wrist. All right, I think it's time to flip my patty. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. it looks whack. Three, two, one. I don't buy it. Oh, look at, at that all. immediate sizzle, bro. Woohoo! All right, here we go. It's going to flatten it down like this. Oh, boy, oh. it's really going now. I've got my perfect square of cheese right here. You made a fundamental mistake, Devin, because yeah. you're trying to cook it on the top. You're supposed to flip it over like that. Boom. Uh -huh. Freshly hot and then then melt the cheese. First step, here we go. I gotta season my oh, buns. Wow, so here yeah, we go. That's, that's, that's the that's first step. Look at this sauce, Ooh. dude. Ooh. Next up, I got my sriracha mayo. So here we go. Just gonna take it. It's just a little, little drizzle right there and a little drizzle down over here. The way the pink contrasts against the black bun actually looks really good, bro. I think mine might be the expensive one, Devin. Who are you kidding? It looks like it's from the dollar menu. Yeah, the thousand dollar menu, Devin. Wait, what is what is that? This is my coleslaw. Next up, time to add my first burger on here. So here we go. Look at that, just dripping with the juice. Oh! <laughs> it's so heavy and meaty. Oh, see, oh. Devin, yours is gonna fail, bro. For sure. It's all cheap. You ain't got nothing, bro. Next up, we got some of this colder meat. So here we go. Just gonna place the colder meat on top. Time for patty number two right now. Just, oh, look at that dripping. Get it right here on top, just like this. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Just gonna slide it off. Oh, stay, fam. We gotta move quickly now. Uh, well, here we go. We're just gonna pop the onion ring on top like that. Gonna put a couple finishing touches on it, and, bro, it is going to be delicious. Oh, oh. it's falling apart. Okay, I gotta fix this thing up. Well, give me a, I might need a moment. If size is any indication of which burger is more expensive, mine is definitely definitely the it more expensive one. So here's the big reveal. Ready, set, go. Ta-da! You get to comment down below and vote whose burger do you think is more expensive. We'll be tasting them and finding out the prices at the end of the video. You challenge us to make macaroni and cheese and remember one set of ingredients is worth more than $500. But the other set of ingredients is only worth $11. But we don't know which are which, so right now let's make some macaroni and cheese. I'm kicking off by making a whole bunch of cheese because cheese is the core of the macaroni and cheese, so here we go. And to kick mine off, I'm making a room. Next up, I add some flour here. Guess what, Cause This is very expensive flour. This is first street flour. That's oh. right. It's not second street or third street, yeah, so it's that, gotta be expensive. Although your flour is expensive, I think my cheese is super expensive. It's like a crusty old man's feet, and you, that's how you know it's good cheese, Devin. How do you know how that smells? I would prefer not to answer. <laughs> Next step, I think I'm gonna add some cream cheese, maybe, and some mustard powder. Oh, snap, I almost forgot the most important part, Devin. Seasoning. I haven't seasoned oh, it yet, so here we yes, go. Yes, of course. Here, I gotta season my cheese. You want, you want some, you want some seasoning? Uh, here you none go. of there that, none of that. All right, for my final cheese here. Swiss. Next up, I'm gonna add some of this milk. This is super expensive milk. You know how I know? Because it's it just looks expensive. Our cheese is at the perfect consistency, and now we've got the noodles here. You can tell these are very fine ravioli noodles. Yo, dude, my cheese is so satisfying. Three, two, one. There's a cheese poured down like this. This just looks absolutely luscious. Now it's time to mix it all up with the noodles. So here we go. It's gonna go. Oh. 
I feel like I'm just like yodeling right now, but that's how good this stuff is, bro. It's turning me into a yodeler. Next up here, I got some pangetta, or should we say panskata? It's neither of those. So I'm just gonna slice this up into small little cubes. It looks like licorice on the inside. Whoa. The only issue with my pangetta is that it doesn't smell like there's a lot of flavor in it. We're gonna take just a smidge of salt. What, what, you, what is that? What are you doing? I'm adding it to the center of my noodles to add extra flair. Wait, so your noodles are gonna have cheese on the inside of the noodle? Individually done. It's like taking Pizza Hut stuffed crust to the next level, bro. Next up, we're gonna get some ground up grass over here. And then just a smidge of the truffle butter here. Just gonna place it on like this. I don't know anyone who would ever spend this much time on their mac and cheese, but I gotta tell you, this is gonna be the most delicious mac and cheese I've ever seen. All right, here we go. Gonna add this paste on the top here. And this is what we call baste in your paste. Are you doing all of those noodles? Oh yeah. At least enough to fill this thing up. Time to shock the meat and add a whole bunch of extra flavor into it. So here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, look at that. Flavor infused, yeah. baby. I got my punk skeda here, and next up, it's time to add in some truffle butter. So here we go. Oh, Whoa. no. How does it even happen? I mean, yes. Gonna add my truffle mustard butter on. What are I you doing? It. I broke the shelf. Wait, oh, you're turning out the lobster meat? Yep. Lobster meat's usually really expensive, right? Oh, yeah, dude, especially this one. Time to take all my amazing ingredients here, scoop them onto the spatula. Three, two, two one. Oh, oh man. Nice. Dude, listen to that sizzle, bro. All That's right. crazy. You know what they say, Collins, when Life gives you lemons. You yeah, make lemonade. Your lobster. Wait, what? what? No, no, no. You make, no. You make lemonade. I've never heard the saying like that before, man. It really draws out the flavor. I right. almost forgot about the most important ingredient, Collins. This is truffle salt. Like, that's gotta be like $50 or $60 just for the salt alone. Dude, I think it's closer to $120 billion. <laughs> All right, I think next up, I'm gonna drizzle the cheese on top. Looks like pure money. And I got my truffle peganini over here, so here we go. Now I'm gonna lay my peganini down. Oh, look at that, bro. All right, well, you know what, Devin, for the most expensive cheese Whoa. of them all, we gotta get that off of there. Check this out, bro. Oh, oh what? look at this. Now it's time to assemble it and see how this thing turns out. This looks so cheesy. Yeah, and mine actually surprisingly came together, so here's a big reveal. Ready, set. Go! Ta-da! Oh my gosh, man. I, I mean, mean, what? Yours has gold leaf? Right now, comment down below and vote whose do you think is more expensive. We can't wait to go through the comments and see if you were able to get it right. We'll be tasting them and finding out the prices at the end of the video. You challenge us to make tacos and one set of ingredients is worth more than $400. But the other set of ingredients is only worth $17. And we don't know which are which, so right now, let's make some tacos. I'm gonna kick it off by tenderizing my meat right now, but I've also heard you can call this bonking the meat. I think this is gonna be the base to my polenta. I'm not really sure. I'm kinda guessing right now. To off, I'm gonna add some cheese. And now I've got a lemon here, and I've heard that lemon on steak tastes absolutely amazing. That's not your great cheese, bro. All the cheese is stuck in the middle, man. You Wait, have to hold it what? upright. I don't oh, know, you can just dump it all out the side. Next up, got a seasoned mistake. So here we go. Got some huge Himalayan salt. And if you notice, Devin, the color similarity between the two, that yeah. means these are paired. They're perfectly matched and meant to go together. Next up, I'm gonna use whatever this sausage looking stuff is. Oh, it looks like you got that from Amazon. It looks like it's got corn in there. Can you add some seasoning to mine, man? Oh, excuse me, Devin. I'm a chef. How much would you like? Uh, well, you haven't started That's yet. about $400 of my super expensive pepper. The top of my steak is seasoned. The bottom of it is completely bare. Oh, man. Oh, boy, just sizzling, bro. It's popping wow. off right yeah. now. Time to get my hands in. So this is either cheap beef or it's wugu beef. No, cons. Wagyu. No, wagyu is the pasta sauce, Devin. Wugu beef. <laughs> I think that's ragu. Now I gotta flip my steak over. Oh, my gosh. Well, the bottom looks actually pretty good. Oh, but you know what? Sorry, I can't forget to, uh, to season the underside now. So here we go. It's gonna season this. I'm all about the seasoning, man, with, with oh, my, yes. here my crystal salt. Here's a little extra seasoning. Hey, right get now. your cheap ingredients out hey. of here, Devin. This Here. is my most expensive one. I you know don't it. think so, man. Hashtag Devin has cheap salt. All right, so next up here, we're gonna be making my tortillas. Yo, this comes together and starts binding extremely quickly, man. Just gonna kind of keep squeezing it. Oh, man. So here we go. Next up, we have a tortilla maker. Holy Whoa. cow. So, oh. oh. Yo, this thing looks like a weight you'd find at the gym, man. All right, here we go. Got a little ball right there. Right what there. are you doing? What are you All right. Yeah, it was an interception. You can't what do you just. You're holding it open That's for That's gonna me, right? make a waffle, not a tortilla right there, man. You've hijacked my tortilla machine. <laughs> okay, just well, like this. Here. Not, that's a huge, unmanageable tortilla, nice. man. This is just perfect. Okay. And then you, you just lift it off are you, are like you, are you this. Done? I think next up, I'm gonna make some pico de gallo. And I've actually got a great idea for my taco shell here. I'm gonna use some of this stuff. That's oh not my just gosh. stuff. That's gold leaf. I'm gonna dip this chunk right here in the gold leaf. Here we go. Three, two, one. And then just see what comes up. Oh my gosh, bro. It's like all gold leaf. Wait, 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 Devin. What, Airborne what, what? gold leaf. No, don't blow it away, dude. You walk up to a customer and you go, sir. No, 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 no. You shouldn't do that. No. Is it edible? You are now gold on the inside and on the, oh my gosh, wait, 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 Devin, yeah, are you what, feeling what? okay? Yes. You look a little bit, uh. I feel really valuable. With this newfound gold power, I think I have the Midas touch. Oh, you what? You ready? 
Boom! Oh my gosh, bro. Yes. Dude, I'm for sure. Boom! Dip, 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 dip. Touch Look. my steak. Turn my steak Boom. gold. Turn my steak gold. It'll never be expensive. Boom! Please just touch my steak. That's a cheap steak. It can't be <laughs> Come done. Come on, man. I just can't do it. Time to make a gold leaf tortilla. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm just gonna put this on top just like this. All right, let's see how the gold leaf taco turned out. Here we go. Three, two, two one. Oh, oh that wow. That looks super awesome, bro. That's amazing. Why'd you chop the onions like that, man? What do you mean? This is how you do it for Pico. All right, next up here, we gotta take my steak. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> yes! There's no way. Oh, There's no. no way that's expensive anymore. It's yeah. on the floor. Let's try this again. Here we go. One more time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Boop. Uh, uh, how? how did you mess that up? Uh, well, I think it's time for me to move on to my fish. I have to say, I'm not very appreciative of this fake gold stuff on my fish. You know, this is really expensive stuff here. You just downgraded the quality. Next up, time to make my very expensive guacamole. So we're going to start off by seasoning the outside of the avocados like that. There we go. Yep. Here we go. It's a quick rotation around like this. All right. Look at this in chef school. There's a rotation. I think I learned that from my mom. That, that was my chef school. Three, two, one. Oh. I missed. Three, two, one. There we go. Okay, just like this. All right, here we go. Be very careful. Do not try this at home. So here we go, like that. Boom, nice. the seed is out. What chop? That's enough of the seed to eat. Okay, so, oopsie. All right, my fish is shredded, and now I think I'm going to build the taco. We got the tortillas and all of our ingredients, and it's time to assemble the taco. So first of all, we got my beef here, and I don't know, man. The jury's still out of whether this is expensive or cheap right here, but we're going to be adding this I think it's in. cheap. Laying down my polenta stuff right now, just doing a little dollop. Going to add in some beef right here. I got to say, the gold leaf on the inside is a definite cool move. Oh my gosh, I forgot to season it. Oh. Oh, man. How can I forget the most essential step off the bat, bro? This is a little bit of a surf and turf. The beef is surfing. The flowers are turfing. Wait, are you sure those flowers are edible? I don't know, man. I guess we should just find out, right? I thought that they were just decoration. Oh. What? What? <laughs> Wait, dude, what was wrong? Oh my gosh, no seasoning. Those flowers were super bland. Gotta, That's gotta it? season up my flowers, That's bro. That's all it was? That's all it was. I don't oh. know what part of the surf and turf this Check is. Check out this spoon, dude. Oh. I think it's made of some like oyster shell or dude, something. Dude, is that caviar? Oh yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, I think that might yep. be the expensive one because caviar, oh, yeah. I've heard, is very expensive. It is super expensive. All right, here we go. Got some lobster, bro. This looks like a little oh, worm. That's yo. really cheap. Yo, yo. Super cheap. So here we go. We're gonna place a lobster down like that on top. Now the plan is if any of my other ingredients are cheap, I'm gonna cover it with this super expensive <laughs> caviar so it's kind of like a taco surprise. You bite in there and the fish is like, yo, I'm here. And, and then you bite into it and the pico, the guy's like, hey, I'm diced up tomatoes. Next up, we got a chunk of dirt right here, man. This has gotta be cheap. You know what that is, right? It's an expensive chunk of dirt. I don't know, what no, is it? It's a truffle, dude. Those things are super expensive. Well, if it really is a truffle, I guess that's somewhat expensive, so might as well add this to it. So here we go, it's gonna go like this, a couple little shavings like that. This thing is loaded with caviar. Well, I've got a couple finishing touches to put on mine, but Same. I'm really excited to see which one's expensive, which one's cheap, and ultimately to see how they turn out. We've got the finished tacos, and I gotta say, man, mine is the creme de la taco yeah, of tacos. Yeah, I don't think so. Mine's definitely better. Ready, set, Yo, ta -da! I mean, that yep. looks whack. You get to comment down below and vote whose do you think is more expensive, and we'll be tasting them and finding out their prices at the end of the video. We've got the completed burgers, and I'm so excited to find out which one's expensive, which one's cheap, and yep. how they taste. Yeah, so Collins, which one do you think is expensive? See, I think, Devin, that mine's expensive one, bro. Yeah. Like, there's <laughs> two so? patties on it, tons of cheese, golden buns. That's pretty true. I think I kind of have to agree with you. Yours? <laughs> Looks pretty normal. You, you receive know? that at a restaurant, and it's kind of like one of those things where you're waiting yeah. for your food, and it's like, oh. you <laughs> see yours, and you're like, uh. yeah. Now, before we find out which one is the most expensive, it's time to taste it. So, Devin, yes. which one should we try first? I think let's do mine first. Oh, oh yes. This I looks mean, amazing. I mean, it's very underwhelming, and I'm not at all impressed what? by it. You just made an O sound. Oh. I got to say, bro, from the inside, the quality looks very high on your burger. Let's see if it tastes as cheap as I hope it does. Three, Three two, two, one. Ah, how'd you do that? Mmm. Oh. oh, oh my goodness. You truffle bars, dude? I am some so trouble. What is going on, dude? What? You taste Wait, are you liking it? I'm loving it. Are you kidding me? All right, here we go. So now it's going to have to kind of hold it down like this. Hold okay. it steady. Down, 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 down. Slice, 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 Here's the reveal. The inside of the burger. Here we go. Three, two, two one. Yeah. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it looks like oh. the earth between different crust layers. What? Ready, Ready set, go. Right now, let's find out which burger is the expensive one. So here we go. Three, two, one. 
What? Yes, no. I knew it. Wait, that tasted terrible. What are you talking about? Thirteen dollars and fifty cents. What? Seven. That's way more expensive than it should have been. Wait, than it should have been. I thought it lived up to the standard. Oh, it's got to be the quail eggs, dude, and the no, wagyu beef. I think it was the wagyu beef. Yeah. I think that's probably what drove the prices yeah. way up. I mean, the cheese was really good as yeah. well. So let's add it all together, Devin. Yep. The final price of your burger is, drum roll, please, four hundred and sixty-six dollars. Oh yeah. my gosh. I know. You get to comment down below. Would you pay four hundred and sixty-six dollars to be disappointed by a hamburger? No, wait a second. Now, we're on to the next one. We've got the tacos, and it's finally time to find out which one's expensive, which one is cheap, and how they taste. So initial predictions, Devin, which is the expensive taco? This you is know tough. what? I'm thinking it's yours, dude. You got gold leaf, truffle, lobster. Or chunks of dirt. Oh, yeah? I think yours is the expensive one. With that amount of caviar, I know caviar is extremely expensive. For this one, let's try mine first. Now, although I think yours is the expensive one, I'm not excited to try it because yeah. that amount of caviar, bro, it's going to be like a blast of salt in your mouth. I'll take a bite, then you take a bite. Three, Here we go. two, two. What? Oh, it's crunchy. And the caviar, how am I supposed to take a bite, bro? Are you kidding me? Oh. There's nothing left in the taco, Devin. <sighs> you totally took the whole taco with you. That's so gross. It's so gross? Well, the opinion is in. Apparently, what? it no, tastes no, very no, gross, no, I think. Not. All right, so we're gonna use a spoon uh, here and I scoop it back in like this. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, the taco shell is the worst. That is way too much. That's probably the fishiest thing I've ever eaten, bro. Yeah, that no. has got to be cheap caviar. So I guess we're going to lift up first, and I'll take the first bite. Just as, oh! oh! Ah, it ah. broke! Okay, here How we go. did that happen? I don't know. Pinch like this. Here, yeah. we take a bite. Here we go. Ready, set, go! Oh, how does it taste? What? 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 Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go for the Whoa. top. You ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. Oh, oh, your guacamole is so bad. All right, well, now it's time to find out what do they actually cost. Yep. So let's see. Three, Three two, two, one. Yo, oh, how? I knew it, bro. What? Land guacamole it was and so all. Bad. It was not. Mine was only seventeen dollars. Only seventeen, dude. Seventeen dollars. So much caviar on there. For though. a taco, you can get a taco for like two dollars. Mine probably has to do with the beef, the lobster, but definitely the truffles and the gold yeah, leaf. Can't yeah. forget about the gold leaf. Let's add up all the ingredients and find out what is the grand total of my extremely expensive taco. Three, two, one. What? Oh, dude, four hundred and thirty-six dollars. Wow. What? It tasted so bad. You can talk just the guacamole. It four, was only the guacamole. What? You get to comment down below whose taco would you have rather eaten, and right now we're on to the next one. We've got the finished mac and cheese, and now it's time to find out which one's expensive, which one's cheap, and how they taste. And off the bat, the gold leaf looks terrible. Got all kind of like crusty on yeah. mine. So Devin, right now, which one do you think is expensive? I think it's mine. Mine has lobster on it, and it just kind of looks better. I'm actually gonna say that mine is the expensive one. I think it's a come from behind victory. Which one are we going to taste first? Um, I think let's do your sad wilted one. Sad wilted yeah. one. Yeah. I think that's the expensive one. I think man. it's cheap. The cheese has got all hard, man. All right, well, you're going for a little, a little petite bite there. I'm going to go for mine. Right. There we go. We want to want to cheers it? Not really. Why? All right. Mac and cheese. I don't okay. know. Is that a drink? Three, Three two, two, one. Whoa. No way. What? No. What? What? Oh, oh yeah. Mm -mm. The best macaroni and cheese Dude. I have ever had. All right, time to taste yours. And if this one tastes better than mine, bro, I will do a backflip right now. What? I will all lose right. my mind. Ready, set, go. Oh, oh, <coughs> man. Ugh, dude, that was so bad. It tasted like rubber. Here's the big reveal All of right. the actual price. You ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Yes! Yeah, dude, I that knew it, bro. Sense. From the very beginning, uh, I knew mine was expensive. So how much Good is, job, man. $11. Uh, it's not like super cheap. I wonder how much this one costs in total. Maybe like $50 for this yeah, one here. So I mean, probably. it's got a whole bunch of expensive ingredients. It's got meat, it's got some great cheese, gold it's got plate. the gold leaf. It's got the noodles. It's gotta be gold. But the cheese, man. I think the cheese is what really makes it expensive. All right, let's add all that up together. And the final price is... What? Wait, $5, no way. I mean, this has got to be made out of solid gold. We've got the $10,000 Starbucks drink, yep. and it's time to find out who the winner is. There were three incredible different dishes, and I got to say, Devin, you definitely took the first one. The burger round was all yours. Thank you. Yeah, I totally agree. But your mac and cheese was phenomenal. Thank so you. I think you definitely took that round. I really think it was all the ingredients, not my cooking abilities. It was, I it was know, fully man. the ingredients. It was really delicious. So when it all comes down to the tiebreaker is the taco round. And yes. I mean, my caviar was pretty bad. Yeah, but I got to say, my guacamole admittedly was, was not up to standards <laughs> of where it land. should be. So oh, I gotta say, I think we both kind of fell short of the mark in terms of yeah, preparation. So I agree with you. how we call it a draw, Devin? We'll share the drink. All right, yep, that sounds about right. All right, and you get to comment down right. below what is your favorite food you would love to see us make a cheap and expensive version of it. Mm -hmm. Click over here if you want to see another video. Is it good? You yeah. got five seconds. Here we go. Five, five four, four, three, two, one. Done. Love you. Bye. Woo!